it's me again, she, and uh, today is 53 days away from the CRNE, and I know it's been a while, because life happens, <laughs> it got busy. Um, I recently celebrated my sister and my brother's birthday, which both fall on December, and as you can judge from my voice, it's a little different, because I'm having colds just when the weather's getting nicer. It's been... Uh, we have had Chinook winds and the temperature rose to about close to zero, minus one, minus three, which is not bad. And therefore, that's the sunlight. So, I just wanted to uh, share with you my experience last week. I had my first rescue and it was, uh, what do you call this, a resident was having a choking episode and I was busy washing the dishes. I am working as a nursing assistant or healthcare aide as we call it here. And so um, I was doing the dishes and then suddenly my coworker came to me and she was like, oh, somebody's choking, uh, I, I don't know what to do. And so I, I, I rushed to the dining room and I saw this lady choking and you know, it's different when you see someone choking versus coughing because there was not a sound coming out although she looked like she has gestures of coughing and her, her tongue was out like like that and her face was turning really red and you could see the pressure building up. And so I rushed to her and without even thinking, I just rushed to her, pulled her chair out, lift her up and started doing the, the abdominal thr thrust as you call it. It's not anymore Heimlich. So I did the abdominal thrust. I don't know where that came from I didn't even have time to think I just went for it and I, I, I was all that was running in my head was like she's gonna go unconscious if I don't do anything she's gonna die if I don't do anything I have to get her um, breathing again so I started doing the Heimlich and not Heimlich sorry uh, abdominal thrust and then uh, they called an uh, LPN to come by and then she started uh, vomiting so I think she was eating jello that made her choke for some reason so she started vomiting and then we sat her down. She's, she was gasping her breath. And then after the rescue, I just stepped back, let the LPN take over and I, I was just shaking. Like I felt like I had suddenly got my gasp of, of breath as if I was the one rescued. I guess it was just the adrenaline rush. And it's the first time I can say that I'm actually proud of myself because I finally did something and I didn't have time to think I didn't have time to panic it was all as if I was possessed and I suddenly knew what to do then and there so it was amazing and so that was last week and then we had our Tuesday study group again I didn't do so well <laughs> we did it, it's a med we're reaching med search now which I'm kind of happy about because it's more of things that I can particularly re relate to rather than definitions and philosophies and all that and so my grade i think was around 65 percent again or so or 61 i don't know it was bad but th this time i think i have a better approach towards it i'm not feeling so bad but rather i'm thankful because i i kind of know what i have to focus on what my gaps are and i kind of know how to attack the questions better i'm like oh that's what they meant and stuff so I, th I feel like I'm getting better and I'm having a better outlook on st on things rather than my negative negativity before so I'm happy about that and I the reason for the scrub is not I'm not on my way to work but rather I'm going to go for my CPR by heart and stroke foundation today later today at around 5 p.m. running till 9 50 p.m. in the evening so yeah it's a pretty late class so yeah, I just wanted to share that with you, and uh, what else has been happening? I guess I am focusing on content here on this book, Moss Piece, and I, as you can see, that's my marker. I'm almost halfway done, more than actually halfway considering that I'm, I'm done with child health and I have to kind of look, make a quick uh, review on maternity. So I have med surge left and what else? Med surge and, and mental health left. I'm sort of halfway almost done with med surge, so I have to touch up with mental health and that'll be it. I'll be done with content and hopefully I can focus on doing the exam. And I have talked to some people who did the exam and a lot of them said that the best guide or best prep that, uh, source that they've had was the CNA 
um, prep guide. They said fifth, fourth, third edition doesn't matter as long as you go through it because a lot of them are... Well, it, it kind of makes sense because they are from the CNA and they are from the actual people who deal with the exam. So therefore, the, the, the question formats and everything would be similar. So I'm going to look into that. And, wow, 53 days. Can you believe? Almost there. I do want to make a video next time on what I'm using because I don't think I've done that yet. Not particularly. So I'll do that another day. And I guess that's it for now. Just wanted to share my rescue experience, basically, and everything that's going on. So till next time again.